Hi, welcome to Platform Wise Solutions. Um, in today's video, we want to look at um, intermediate value theory. In one of the aspects of introductory um, analysis. Yeah, today's theorem just deals with um, helping us find the maximum and the minimum value of functions. And we want to look at it as far as uh, the box property is concerned. So we want to state this property and, and then move on. So the property uh, says that let's have a certain function. So if we have this function f, okay, so the domain could be x or anything. So let's have this function f, which is continuous. So if f is continuous, we want to have continuous like this. If S, f is continuous on a closed interval, so let's take this interval. So this f is continuous on this closed interval. And um, we have a certain value um, which is uh, p <coughs> such that f of k is uh, yeah, f of k is is between so f of k is between f at a and f at b. Uh, so. We are looking at a certain function which is continuous on this interval, it's a closed interval. And uh, there is a certain constant, k, such that f of k is between f of a e and you see that these are the extreme values of the domain. Uh, now, if that is the case, then there exists, uh, so there exists a certain constant c, uh, which belongs to the open interval A B such that uh, such that um, such that if you find F of C it gives us um, F of what K. Uh, so that basically is the, the box property as far as the intermediate value theorem is concerned. But we want to see that practically. Uh, so if we have um, the Cartesian plane, we just want to look at the positive aspect. So if the Cartesian plane is going like this. And then, so we have Y here in the Exit. So let's look at this point here. Let's say that the interval begins from here. Okay. Uh, yeah. there, is, there is a certain function. Let's call this function f. Okay. So we can look at this. Let's say that we have a certain variable. So if this is a, then this will becomes f of p. Then, um, if we move this way, then we are going too far. Okay. Can something this way? Alright, so if this is B, then we're going to have F of B. Right. Now, what we're trying to say is that. If these things are valid, then there is a certain number here, yeah, C, such that when you move this way, alright, so you say that this one is equal to F of C, which is not K. So we have a closed interval in which the function is valid, it's continuous. But within this interval, there is a certain constant, a real number, that when you find its function value, it is equal to f of c, which is equal to s to k. So our part here is to look at examples where we'll be asked to see whether certain functions satisfy the, the box property. So let's pick 
speak an example. So example one. So that is the application of the, the boat's property. So we have to show that <coughs> show that um, S Q plus X squared minus X minus four equals zero um, has has a solution in the open interval so we have one two so that's the open interval one two okay so let's see how we, we, we solve that problem or we apply the, the books property to solve this particular problem we are investigating or we are showing that for this function or equation there is a solution for it in this open interval so from here we can write that equation as um, f of s being equal to s cube plus x squared minus x minus 4 all right, so let's let's take the let's make that open interval a close one. So um, on one two. Now, when we're stating the property, we stated that let the function be continuous on the closed interval. So we just going to subject the question to the property. Okay, so we see f of a. Uh, that's f of a here becomes f of one because this is the Initial value. So you start with it one here, then plus one squared minus one minus four. This gives us, uh, so we are getting negative there. Right, so this is giving us negative there. Then f uh, of two. So two cube plus um, two squared minus two minus four. Right, so we get eight, then plus this twelve. So let's, let's see what we get in there. All right, so it's negative six. Right, so this will give us six. All right, then we realize that these values are, are, are real numbers and we, we are realizing that by substituting the interval or the opening interval and the closing interval into the function we are getting these values which means that the function is continuous on the closed interval so you say that f of x is continuous on this so one aspect of the the property has been satisfied so the next one is to say that there is a certain constant all right so it means that um, it implies that there exists x naught, right? So there is x naught within the open interval um, one two. So um, such that when you find uh, x naught of this, we are going to get a certain value, a certain constant. So let's see how we represent that graphically. So we have the plane here, x and um, y. Now let's look at one and uh, two here. Now at one we had um, negative three. So Let's just say the negative three is around this area. So we have a point here. And then at two we get in six. So if six is here, then we have uh, six here. So there is a point here. Okay, so let's try and draw this. Now if you look at the function, it is cubic. So we can draw something like this. Uh, so, 
Actually, it needs to pass through this point. So. Now, if you look at this, you realize that this is negative for so this will continue and pass to negative for so this will continue on this and, and so but our interest is to just look at the given interval so you can end here. So one, two. Now we realize that this curve or this uh, function is crossing the S as it's at a certain point. So we want to call this one x naught. And so this particular one, you see that on this axis, this is the origin. So all y values on this one gives x naught to zero. So it means that the certain that constant you're looking for, which is x naught, you can't really tell what value it is here. But realize that its corresponding y value will give us some zero. So we can say that. Uh, this implies that f of x is going to be s naught is going to give us us to zero. So one solution to this particular uh, equ uh, function or equation is that we're going to get um, zero as one of the solutions. Right, so it means that this particular function satisfies the the, the Bose property because it continues on it and given any s value which is between this and this. See so that extremes. So you see that this value is between and if we find the function value, it's given us of zero. That means that there exists a solution in this open interval and that solution is zero. Okay. Good. So I hope you, you have found this one very helpful. Um, we shall meet again to look at another example as far as this property and its applications are concerned. Thank you very much.